Hi. So we're going to be looking at a phrase from Isaiah 41.1, let the people renew their strength. So Spurgeon writes, all things on earth need to be renewed. No created thing continuous by itself. Thou renewest the face of the earth with the psalmist's utterance. Even the trees which wear not themselves with care, nor shorten their lives with labor, must drink of the rain of heaven and suck from hidden treasures of the soil. The cedars of Lebanon, which God has planted, only live because day by day they are full of sap, fresh drawn from the earth. Neither can man's life be sustained without renewal from God, as it is necessary to repair the waste of the body by the frequent meal, so we must repair the waste of the soul by feeding upon the book of God, or by listening to the preached word, or by the soul-fattening tables of the ordinances. How depressed are our graces when means are neglected what poor starveling some saints are who live without the diligent use of the word of god and secret prayer if our piety can live without god it is not of divine creating it is but a dream for if god had begotten it it would wait upon him as the flowers wait upon the dew without constant restoration we are not ready for the perpetual assaults of hell or the stern afflictions of heaven or even for the strifes within. When the whirlwind shall be loosed, woe to the tree that hath not sucked up fresh, uh, fresh sap and grasped the rock with many intertwisted roots. When tempests arise, woe to the mariners that have not strengthened their mast, nor cast their anchor, nor sought the haven. If we suffer the good to grow weaker, the evil will surely gather strength and struggle desperately for the mastery over us. And so, mayhap, a painful desolation and a lamentable disgrace may follow. Let us draw near to the footstool of divine mercy in humble entreaty, and we shall realize the fulfillment of the promise, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Well, this is a lovely devotion talking about the importance for us as Christians of reading the word and, and spending time with God in prayer. So, um, <clears throat> for your two questions for the day, the first one is, number one, why is reading the word and prayer important? And number two, what have you noticed about yourself at times when you have read the word of God and prayed? What do you notice as far as how is it different from the times that you might have neglected to pray or to read the word? Thank you.